Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be taking a look at Halo Infinite's future content, some of which has been confirmed by 343, and the other stuff being leaks. So let's get right into it. So first off, let's start off with the maps. We're going to be getting a good amount of maps, it seems like, which is pretty much all we've been getting since seasons ended, and I kind of expect that to continue. So of course, we're going to be getting a lot of Forge-made maps. The first one being Skyport, which is an arena map made by Sparisoft, of course in Forge, and they're the the people who've been making all those dev made forge maps like corrosion and elevation now thanks to halo index we do have some images of how this map looks so you can get an idea of how it's going to play now on this map there actually is a giant fan which apparently can get you killed as it's able to suck you in even your grenades that you throw it's able to suck those in and i do got to say i always love that kind of stuff in maps and it seems like they're going to continue doing that with their maps now there's no timeline as to when that map's going to come out but we're probably going to see it sometime soon. Anyways, on to the next map, which is called Vestige, which appears to be a BTB map. And this one's actually a recreation, or I guess you could say remake. Although it's supposed to be more like the Halo 2 Anniversary version, which is the Relic map. Now, it does look a bit rough, I'm not going to lie. Now, this one, we do actually have a date as to when it's going to come, somewhat anyways. At least according to Bathrobe, he says that this may be coming later this summer. Now, there is an interesting aspect with this map, which I'll talk about later, because right now we're just talking about map so let's move on to the next map that's going to be added in the future and these next two maps are actually ranked maps that are only going to be available in the ranked playlist and these are actually confirmed by 343 themselves as it was revealed in the hcs london event and we also have a time frame for when these maps are going to come out which is also later this summer so the first ranked map is called Origin, which is supposed to be a Halo 5 Colosseum remake. Once again, of course, it's made in Forge. And you can actually play this yourself right now if you wanted to. I played it a bit with some bots. And yeah, I would say it's a pretty faithful recreation. Of course, it does have to fit the Halo Infinite gameplay and its sandbox. So it is a bit different. But uh, yeah, Colosseum was one of the best maps in Halo 5. So it's good to see it come to Halo Infinite. The next map that's coming to ranked later this summer is called Fortress, which this one is an original community made map. And this one's a bit more interesting so it's like a medieval like fortress or something like a castle something like that and yeah it's supposed to play like i think it was like sanctuary and like a mixture of warlock or something like that now this map you can also play on your own if you wanted to just look for it in the custom browser but yeah that is the second ranked map that you can expect to see later this summer so now let's take a look at the next two maps which is back into leak territories these are actual dev made maps not made through the forge tools the first one being beltway which is an arena map that i think takes place in like a weapons factory and the second map being rock ridge which is a btb map and this one was supposed to have the falcon on it i believe anyways the reason i bring these up is because there was a thread on twitter where people were talking about what happened to maps that we've seen before that seemed finished that were leaked and bathrobe went ahead and responded to this and he said that we may see a new arena map and a btb map coming this year and yeah he pretty much just confirms that it's rock ridge and belt wave so um who knows maybe we'll see those maps coming later this year i'm not holding out onto it even if bathrobe is saying it but i'm definitely just gonna throw it out there because it seems like it may be a possibility because those maps did look pretty finished and there was even gameplay on those that got taken down by microsoft i believe and they did seem pretty complete so i feel like we'll, we'll probably get them at some point at least i'd hope so so those are all the maps that we can expect to see sometime in the near future who knows maybe we'll even get some other map that's just kind of thrown out there because the 10 rye 4 operation just got a random map that no one leaked so maybe it's possible we'll see uh other maps like that just appear out of nowhere anyways now let's move on to some modes and if you haven't noticed already with the 10 rye 4 operation we did get some new modes which was juggernaut and ninja knot now these modes were community made they're not like actual official modes which is unfortunate because juggernaut did actually have medals that have been leaked so they definitely did have like an actual mode for it but i guess for whatever reason they switched to a community made version of it which i do think is a bit unfortunate although that just kind of points and shows that that's just how infinite is going to be from now on it's just going to be mostly community stuff um if it wasn't obvious already but at the same time i don't know i mean that could be a positive because that means we might see more like community made modes instead of just community made maps maybe now we'll get like a mix of those two which will be nice and the reason i I bring that up and talk about community made modes is because according to grunt api one bomb and neutral bomb modes have been internally updated so it seems like we may begin some kind of like assault mode finally it's been leaked for quite a while as well but it seems like they've been getting updates over time although it does make it a bit concerning because that could just mean that maybe they're going to stop on the actual assault mode and just make it into like a forge made assault mode instead since they did that with juggernaut anyways it seems like they are working on some kind of a 
assault mode whether it's community made or just an actual like dev made one and earlier i talked about vestige having something interesting and that is because grunt api was kind of teasing that we might get like a one bomb mode with it which would make a lot of sense because that map did work with one bomb back in the day so if we're gonna get assault we might get it along with the new vestige map whenever that launches so the next mode we're gonna be looking at that we're gonna probably see in the near future is vip which is a mode that was supposed to release in season three but for whatever reason they just kind of threw it in the back and just never talked about it again anyways this mode has gotten so many updates that i'm sure it's probably gonna have to release sometime soon and thanks to halo index there actually is a playable version of it which has new effects on it for the first person HUD and third person. And there's also VIP medals. And you could play this yourself right now if you wanted to. I'll leave a bookmark down below. And you could see like all the new visual effects that it didn't have before. And that about wraps up all the maps and modes that we're going to get in the future. We also still got another operation coming, which is the Spartan Surplus operation, which apparently has been renamed to Anvil. And I'll have a video on that later. But other than that, apparently Tashi said at the HTS Pro Talk podcast, he said that they might be testing community made ranked forge maps through the combat workshop playlist for them to get feedback on it because a lot of people have been critiquing some of the uh, new forge maps that get added into the ranked playlist so yeah i mean that about wraps up everything we can expect to see in halo infinite that has been leaked and just confirmed by 343 it's not a lot which honestly you shouldn't be surprised but there's still some stuff coming so that's always nice to look forward to um let me know what you guys think down below and of course consider subscribing and liking the video if you want to see more videos like this i'll see you guys on the next one peace